watching Muriel's mini obsession and today I have a very special Halloween episode for you and I have the five, oh, sorry, it's ten, five new Neon Fright dolls from Monster High. Um, and I'm not going to do a whole unboxing because that would take forever, but um, I am going to be going over my highlights, my disappointments, and also doing some comparisons to uh, previous series and similar dolls. Uh, so stay tuned. And then also um, at the end, I will link, I did a, an ASMR video of the color reveal for the keys that come with the locker. So check that out if you're into that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So here we have Toralei Stripe. I love the box art um, and the colors on these. I think they're really cool. So let's open her up and check her out. Wow. I think that these particular coffins or lockers, whatever you want to call them, are really cool. I love the design. And there's Toralei. I'm going to cut her open. I really appreciate that they actually put this plastic band around her head because it made cutting the tags off so much easier. And she is looking beautiful. I really love her eye makeup. So I'm not a huge fan of these harnesses. The straps are kind of too long. They just don't fit very well. I do love her little teacup that she comes with. It's spooky kitty design on it. This little cat um, keyboard is super cute. Her shoes I really like. They're super cute too. And I really like her second outfit as well. So this is everything that she comes with. Overall, I really like her. I love the shorter hair on her and just an edgier look. The one thing I will say is that her first skirt does have this little hole cut out in it that lets her tail go through. And unfortunately, her second skirt does not have a cutout for her tail, so it fits a bit awkwardly, which is kind of disappointing. So here are the two Toralies together, or the two that I have. Um, I really like both of them. Uh, the first one is the original, has a sweeter face, and the Neon Frights one has an edgier look. If I had to choose one um you know it's a hard choice but i think i i would pick the neon frights torlai yeah all right next up we have draculaura let's get her open let's see yeah i really love these cases the design is just so pretty And here she is. I'm going to cut her out. And let's see. Okay, so when the stock images first leaked of this Draculaura, I know a lot of people were kind of like, oh, what's with the purple lips, you know? Um, <clears throat> and I was, I was one of those people. I was like, the purple lips don't go with anything else. Um, but in person, I actually do really like her. Um, her shoes are really cute. They have these little heart cutouts. And I do really like her hair. Her accessories are probably my favorite in the series. Her little laptop is super cute. Yeah, I really like, I really like the, these laptops. And she has a little, let's see, they're bat Pocky sticks. <laughs> I love Pocky, so yes, of course I love these. And this glow stick, I mean, when I first opened it, I was like, is this a lint roller? No, it's a glow stick, it glows in the dark. 
yeah, those are all super cute. And these are her second shoes, which the purple on the bottom does actually match the purple on her lipstick. So there's a little, little coordinate going on there. Um, I was kind of like unsure if I would like these shoes, but I actually do. They're really cute. Her earrings are not my favorite. They're okay. Um, <clears throat> I do really like her second outfit. I think it's cute. I'm not a huge fan of like the pleather material that all the skirts are made out of, but I actually like this design. So yeah, um, these are all of my Draculauras and I love them. <laughs> uh, these are all the ones that I have. There's more available. Um, but yeah, the Neon Frights and the Scared Eyes Island are my two newest ones. They both do have some yellow um, like eyeliner eyeshadow going on. Um, so I just wanted to show you comparison of their faces. And then just so you could see a couple more comparisons to other G3 Jack faces. Um... The Neon Frights one really is quite different, at least compared to the ones that I have. Her, like, just the, her coloring of her eyeshadow and the purple lips, you know, make her look a lot different. But yeah, if I had to choose one, um, like if I could only have one, it would have to be Scared Eyes Island drag. I just think she is like the cutest ever of all the drags. And she's not focusing right now. But she, yeah, she would be my pick if I had to choose only one. Next we have Gulia, which I'm super excited for. Um She's definitely one of the ones that I was most excited about when they first showed the stock images. And she has, like, some brains under her case. Oh, there she is. It's hard to see her face with the glasses, so I am going to get her out of the box. And, again, she has the little plastic that's holding on her glasses. Also makes it nice for taking the tag off of her head. So here she is, and I have to say, out of all of um, this series, she has the wonkiest eyes. Um, I still think she is really cute. <laughs> I still really like her. But yeah, I've heard this from other people, that she has a tendency to have wonky eyes. So just uh, bear that in mind if you are thinking of getting her. Again, well, you know, her harness actually fits better and um like drac and the others but she's cute she has little brains on her boots it's kind of hard to see uh you can kind of see them and then there's like brains on her heels also um yeah so her glasses unfortunately do not fit very well they come off very easily. They're very loose. I don't know if there's a fix for that, but I wasn't actually going to show her laptop. But then I realized that it has this little like webcam um, for like gaming. So I thought that was super cute that they added that on. She has freaking brain noodle, cup noodle. Like, how cute is that? I'm obsessed. Obsessed. And, of course, her Crocs. They're basically Crocs. They have brains for the souls. And, like, just cute, like, little game consoles. Stuff on the top. She also has game console earrings. Not console. What am I saying? Controller. Sorry. I'm not a gamer. These are controllers, not consoles. She also has 
this really cute headset with wings on the ear pieces. I actually really love all her accessories as well. She has this cute little purse. It says RIP on one side. And the other side has like wings. I don't know. It's a little bit hard to see. And I do like her paint plat splatter skirt. Like I'm a sucker for paint splatters. <laughs> but yeah, these are my two Gulias. Um... The original one, I know, got a lot of hate because of her kind of, like, light brown eyebrows and the pink lipstick. So, I do think that the new one is an improvement. I, I prefer the blue eyebrows and red lipstick. Um, but I do, like, kind of think the original is kind of cute in her own way. Now we have Frankie. I'm super excited to open them up. So let's check it out. They have lightning bolts on their case. And they are looking really good. Oh my gosh, look at that face. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about this doll. And one thing I'm disappointed about, though, is that I really thought that you know they have this shaved side of the head and I really thought that was going to be flocked and it's just like hard plastic so that was a little bit of a disappointment for me um but I mean otherwise I really like them I think they're gorgeous and like, the makeup is just so vibrant. The camera, like, really isn't even picking up how vibrant it is. But, yeah, they're really gorgeous. Again, not crazy about the harness. I think we know by now I'm not into the harnesses. Um, yeah. The boots are uh, kind of meh for me. <clears throat> but let's check out. I'm not going to show really any of the accessories because um I'm not like wowed by any of them <clears throat> I do absolutely freaking love these shoes though um they're kind of like like platform vans like I'm a huge vans fan so I really really like those shoes <clears throat> these are their earrings they're kind of like basic they have a skelette with some chains uh, so this is everything that Frankie comes with and these are all of my Frankies um I do really like all of them the original is probably my least favorite <laughs> sorry but um my two favorites are Creepover and the Neon Frights one so I'm just going to show you a comparison of their face-ups. Um, so Neon Frights has like a much bolder, brighter uh, makeup. Um, but I really like the hair and the style on Creepover. So yeah, it's just a really hard choice. I can't cho choose between those two. So here we have Twyla. And I am... Super, super excited for her. <clears throat> um, there's her case. It's very pretty. Let's see how she looks. And yeah, she she's looking pretty fantastic. I'm going to get her out of her case. All right, so her face is just looking so awesome. I'm obsessed with her face up. Um, it's so different from the original one. I'm going to show them together later. But, yeah, I just really love her makeup. The dark lips, dark eyes, her hair is really pretty. Her shoes are so cute. Her boots, the little bunny ears. I really like those. And her legs are wrapped in plastic just to protect the design on them. 
but her sh boots are so detailed. It's a little hard to show, but they're really cool. Um, so another thing I was excited about is she comes with these, I, I don't know, they're, I guess they're supposed to be like earbuds. They're over the ear earbuds, but uh, yeah, they kind of hard to keep them on. But I love them because they remind me of my hearing aids. Um, so, like, I'm just going to pretend they're hearing aids. Also, her lantern is really cool. I love this accessory. And it even has, like, a little candle you could see from the other side. I think that's really neat. She has a book of shadows that does open. And I think that's really cool. And even her, like, little silly plate of cookies, I think, is really cute. And I love her second pair of shoes. They're really cute. I honestly, like, I love all of the second pairs of shoes on this whole series. Um, I don't know. These ones might be my favorite, though. I really like them. And her earrings are this sort of like lock and key. Those are kind of cool. I like those. Very ornate looking. So this is everything that she comes with. I do really like her skirt and I'm actually going to change her into that. So here are my two Twilas. And, you know, I honestly really like them both. Uh, they're, they're so different. I feel like the original one has kind of like a more ghostly look just because she has like kind of a paler um, color scheme. Um, it's kind of hard to choose for me between these two. If I could only have one, probably going to go with Neon Frights though. <laughs> so much for watching um you could find me on instagram or the same name muriel's mini obsession and uh you know if you want to see more doll or miniature content hit the subscribe button and i hope to see you guys next time